Who's there? Okay. That was not a dream, I think. You saw something this afternoon. A waking dream, and you can't explain it. That's why you are here, isn't it? What? Meet me tomorrow, and I will tell you everything. Okay, in the last cutscene we saw some very strange things. I'm not sure what happened in the meantime, but we've woken up. I don't know if that uh, what we saw was real or was in our dreams. And April thinks we can see Cortez and have him explain to us what's going on. Good morning. Did you ever question your own sanity, April? I mean, did you ever wonder if you were going mad? Why? I'm quite certain I am insane. I'm not trying to amuse you, April. I'm really serious. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I felt like that many times. Then explain it to me. How do you deal with it? Do you lock it away inside yourself, or do you talk to someone about it? Because I'm at a loss here, April. I don't know what to do. Uh, I would talk to people. I'd talk to someone about it. That's what I figured. It's not something you can just stow away and forget about. What I saw, I won't ever be able to forget that, real or not. What did you see, did Fiona? You see? Last night. Right here in this room, Mickey and I, we were watching a movie, a documentary about the new synthetic rainforests in Mexico. You know, the ones that produce eight times the oxygen of the original organic forests. Ooh. I've heard about, but I'm digressing. Anyway, about halfway through the movie, like I said, I'm probably going completely bonkers. This room became a... a it was more like a vision, really, and I'm sure it wasn't holographic. What kind of vision? This room turned into a forest. What? It was like the forest came out of the screen and into the room. Like being in the middle of a hollow theater, but with added resolution, hallucinogenic effects, and... and smells. It only lasted for a few seconds, and then it all just disappeared. Did anyone else see this? Mickey did, but she refuses to speak of it. Says it was just our imagination acting up, which leaves me wondering how long it'll take before I end up in a mental institution. Maybe there's a gas leak. Something equally weird happened at the cafe last night. What was that? Last night, at the cafe, right in front of everybody, this creature appeared out of thin air. Just like your forest. It was only there for a few seconds and then it disappeared, but everybody saw it. Everybody. Oh my. What's going on, love? I don't scare easily, but this is really getting to me. 
Don't know. But whatever it is, I think... I'm pretty sure Cortez is involved. Cortez? How is he involved? Not sure yet. I don't know that either. I'd love to find out, though. He definitely knows more than he lets on. Do you know where he is? Have you seen Cortez today? No, darling. I don't think he's around. Do you have any idea where he, where he could be if he's not here? Do you have any idea where Cortez is? Sorry, he could be anywhere. Well, he does enjoy going uptown to watch old movies in some revival cinema, but where that is, I wouldn't know. Who'd know? Perhaps Zack. He is, after all, the self-appointed film expert around here. You should talk to him, darling. Great, Zack. My very best friend in the whole wide world. Could you tell Cortez I'm looking for him? Certainly, darling. If I happen to see him. Thanks. Thanks. Um, any other weird things you've seen? What other weird things have happened lately? Little things, like movement in the corner of your eye that's gone when you turn your head. And noises. The kind you're not supposed to hear in the city. Animal noises. Wild animals. And once, this was very early in the morning, mind, a few days ago, I looked down into the canal and saw what looked like an underwater city. As I looked at it, it dissolved into ripples of water. Scary. You're telling me, darling. I'm scared of cockroaches, for God's sake. What do you think this does to my nerves? We'll try and take it easy. And we'll figure out maybe Cortez to get going. knows Take what it all means. There, like I said, he knows more than he lets on. Zach's room is upstairs. Maybe he's home. Let's barge into his apartment. Or maybe we knock on the door by doing this. I'm not sure. Never imagine I'd be doing this in a million years. Well, well, what do you know? The princess comes knocking after all. Yeah, I realized what I was missing out on. Yes, I finally realized what I was missing out on. About time, too. So, you, uh... Ready to hang out? Just do me one favor first, okay? Well, give me a reason to, babe. A reason? You want a reason? Okay. What about a date? Yeah. Good. Tonight. Uh, sure. Tonight. I'll meet you at the... Pavilion, was it? And, uh, are you gonna put out? What? What a question. I mean, if I'm going to use my VIP passes and my pills, babe, I just got to know if it'll be worth it or not. You on? We'll see, Zach. Uh, just don't do a Houdini and vanish on me, babe. If you're a no-show and I wait around for you all night, I end up looking like an asshole. And that wouldn't make me very happy. I'll be a good girl and show. Smart. So, uh, what do you want to know? What kind of find a theater that shows old movies? Where can I find a theater that shows old movies? There are quite a few that do, but only one that runs optical stock. I figure that's the one you want, yeah? Why? Because that's where Cortez likes to hang out. And I'm guessing you're trying to hook up with him. No, no. I just need to do some research for a painting. Babe, I'm not a moron. I see you guys together. What are you, his lover? Do shriveled old weirdos turn you on? What is it, his accent? His acute lack of fashion? Both. It's not what you think. Whatever. Hey, like I give a shit, you're with me tonight. By tomorrow morning, I don't think you'll find that old creep so appealing anymore. So, where is Cortez? Uh, when he's not outside reading or whatever the hell he does, he's usually at the Mercury Theater. They show old movies on real celluloid stock through a projector, like in the fucking Middle Ages. Where is this theater located? I don't remember the street it's on. It's been ages since I was there last. But you'll find it if you head out the East Gateway from Metro Circle. It's close to the Radio Power Building. 
and there are tons of adult stores in the area. Actually, if you're not too busy, you could pick up something for us to watch tonight. Something really filthy. Zack, I don't think... Hey, whatever. I was just kidding, yeah? Babe, you got a major bug up your ass. Get a fucking sense of humor, yeah? I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tip... and the info. Just be at the pavilion by ten, okay? I don't like waiting around for babies like you. Got a million better things to do. And it wouldn't be a good idea for you to ditch me. Not a good idea at all. Whatever, Zach. Oh, we have a diary update. It's too even. Let's see. It is Saturday now. July 29th, 2209. In a few hundred years, when my great-grandchildren rummage through the attic and find this book, they're probably going to have a ball. I'm not even sure if I want to write about what happened last night, because chances are I will never forget. Ever. And future generations will likely be better off not knowing. But I'm sure now that... Whatever's going on, it's not just in my head. It's in everybody's head. Last night was proof positive of that. Which begs the question. The things I've seen, my dreams, what's real and what's not. I'm afraid the only person who might be able to answer that question is Cortez. How's that for irony? That in order to prove to po in that in order to prove to myself that I'm not going mad, I have to talk to the one person I'm sure is totally insane. What a great way to start the weekend. I made myself one solemn promise regarding this diary. On the day I first met him, I swore that Zach Lee would never, ever, ever be mentioned in this book. Ever. Whoops. Well, promises are made to be broken, right? I just wish I didn't have to break this one. I mean, it's not because he's an asshole. He is. But that's not what bothers me. And it's not because he's constantly hitting on me either, or because he lives right across the hall, and every time I take a shower, he just happens to wander into the bathroom, or because he's less mature than a spoiled four-year-old with the vocabulary and imagination of a 14-year-old. Now, the thing about Zack that bothers me the most is that he's so smug about himself. He thinks he's the bomb, so to speak. And no matter what I say to discourage him, he doesn't get it. Asking him for help goes against everything I believe in, but apparently, if I want to find Cortez anytime soon, I don't have a choice. This is so humiliating. According to Zack, I can find Cortez uptown, right off Metro Circle, at a movie theater called Mercury Theater. Even I know that's an Orson Welles reference. It makes sense because I remember him saying something about old movies yesterday morning. I'll have to catch the subway to get there. Oh, I can't wait. I so love Metro Circle. The prostitutes, the drug dealers, the decomposing garbage, the tourists. Oh yeah, sweet. Note to self, next time you promise to go on a date with Zachary, bring somebody along to put a bullet through your head. Like, duh. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to get out of that one. He said he'd be mad if we don't show up, but I mean... How mad are we talking? So this time Cortez isn't sitting out here. And we have to go. It's a lot emptier here. To the subway. And this time we have a metro pass. What are these people staring at? I guess just the water because there's no view. I feel like we should just be able to walk through because... Yeah, because we have a valid pass. There was a key over there, huh? I think we have the stuff now to get that key. A clamp, maybe? What happens if we use the clamp? Does that just electrocute us and we die? Because the clamp should technically have rubberized handles or something. Oh, we can do that, yeah. Um. 
When I was a wee lass, I tried fishing a couple of times in the pond behind my house. I never caught anything. I hope my luck's improved. Obviously, this is not going to work. The clamp's already closed. Okay, but we have more garbage in our inventory. Oh, it is deflating. It's deflating in the cutscene. Oh, that's great. Because it did have a it's hole a in it. Cool catch. So what is this kind? What kind of key is this? This is for uh, like maintenance work. It's a large iron key. Yeah, I gathered that. It's for, like turning large metal bolts. the train now we can go here which I assume that's Metro Circle look at that some interesting signs in the back here the first thing I saw when I came to Newport big city gotta love it some, uh, ladies hanging around That's back to the subway. And over there to the elevators. There's a guard though. NTS? E oh. That is a different exit. Subway. Totally different vibe from where uh, the border house is. Popular place, not my crowd though. Popular place, not my crowd. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase "hitting the bottle," and he's hitting it hard. Well, at least he's not doing Amethyst. What's that? Liquor store. What are we work walking over to look at? It's a liquor store. <laughs> Great insight, April. Down the street. Back to Metro Circle. I guess that's all where we can go. Can talk to this guy. Or first look at him. This guy looks like he works at the theater. Who's that? That guy's so conspicuous, he's got to be a cop on a stakeout assignment. Excuse me. Yes, yeah, um. Oh, geez. Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marquis. Light up. Good. Now stay that way, you hear? This place has seen better days. Do you work at the theater? Yes, um, I'm Freddy. Freddy Mellon. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she owns the theater. Yep, I reckon she does, uh-huh. She owns it. And she'd be running it by her own self, like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course. Yup. 
And what do you do, sir? I'm the usher. And I also takes care of sweeping and cleaning up after the show. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she says she reckon I'm a regular jack of all trades. I'll tell you what, I think she's right about that, uh huh. Is the theater open now? No, I reckon it ain't, lady. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. Do you know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. Ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweeping, uh-huh. But I'm supposed to meet him here. Are you sure you don't know him? Look, lady. I reckon you you should just mind your own bee's knees and get. I told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. You said you didn't know Cortez. I I reckon I don't know nobody by that name. So so I tell you what, I'd mighty appreciate it if if you'd stop bothering me, and let me get on with my work. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph, I reckon the whole dang world is f wants to find Cortez today. Thanks, anyway. Yes, yeah, some. I'll tell you what. You go on now, and let Freddie Mellon do his sweeping before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all P.I.S.T. off. Very sorry. I'll get out of your way. Clearly, I can't uh, learn any more out of you. It's a fuse box. Fuse box got something wrong with it. There's something wrong with the power in that box, and it looks like the theater marquee is connected to the same switch. It keeps flickering on and off. Just trash. What's the uh, what's the green stuff? Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now? You hear? Leave it be. What is Green that? Ooze. ooze. Touch it. Smells like kerosene. Strange. Bergwin Festival at the Mercury Theater. Opens August 1st, 2209. That's on Tuesday. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll go. Assorted candy. Colorful. No doubt also extremely toxic. This is where I'm following parts of the walkthrough. Now I have uh, a stinky candy. And you can you can actually also It's awful. It tastes like mouthwash. Try some of the candy. Now you have sticky candy. Can we push I it back? Said leave it be. I wanted to put it back to its original position, but okay. Who are you? Hi there. Having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? 
I'm an orphan. Yeah? Well, all the more reason for you not to talk to strangers. Now get lost! Don't you get tired of hanging around here all day long? No, ma'am. So you're completely fine. There's nothing you'd want. That's right. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Not even a bite to eat? Just had a full lunch, ma'am. Thanks for asking. So you just had lunch? That's right. At Cool Cow. What did you have? A triple whammy cow patty with a side order of grease onions and a large bingo cola. No ice. What about fries? And a double order of cheese and fried taters, yeah. Tastiest damn fries you're ever likely to find. Soaking in melted goat cheese. And you had this... when? Well, about an hour ago. And you don't feel, um, the urge to go? No, ma'am, no. My bowels are genetically enhanced and require only perfunctory attention. The burger filled you up good? You don't have the munchies. Perfunctory. Well, now you mention it, I have a craving for sweets. I didn't have time for my usual cool cow strawberry pie with whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and a scoop of ice cream. Wait a second. What am I telling you all this for? Who the hell are you anyway? Get out of here, ma'am. Right this minute or else... Is this a threat? I think that was a threat. A very serious one, ma'am. Here, how about, uh, some candy? Would you like a candy? Hey, yeah. That'll hit the spot. What the hell? The taste! Sickening! I feel kinda... Christ! Hey, what... What the hell do you think you're doing? Did you just throw a rock at my head? Now, I tell you what. You shouldn't have done that. I reckon that was a bad mistake. Two stooges chasing each other off screen. <laughs> you should have seen him run, lady. I reckon I ain't never seen nobody run that fast. And he was clutching at his buttocks like he had the runs or something. <laughs> he, he even lost his stupid old hat in the gutter. <laughs> I ain't never seen anything that funny in a while. You're welcome for, uh, the entertainment that I gave you. His hat, you say. I was hoping to make her run faster, but... Hat. Fedora. It's that detective guy's hat. Can you put it on? Oh no, that's just gonna make you walk over somewhere. Now he's not standing at the fuse box. Can we oh, oh, open that? It's some kind of keyhole. Yeah. A zigzag lightning bolt. I just love that word zigzag. Caution. Is that like a general caution as in life caution? Life should carry a big yellow caution sticker. It's certain to kill you sooner or later. Square key, right? I feel like he's staring at me. Ooh, that's bad. Um, how do you deal with that? It's a switch. 
I'd venture a guess and say it has something to do with switching the power on and off. The heat's caused this one to melt. I don't think it works anymore. The cable's almost completely severed. It would probably be easy to pull it out, provided I have some kind of protection against the electricity. The rubber glove. Oh, and the band-aid. Yeah. Uh, could I... Can I touch that with that? Oh, I didn't... I didn't fix it. <laughs> I just made it worse. Dang, Marky! Light up! Hell, it gone dead on me now. I'm going to have to fix that sign proper this time round, uh-huh. I just need me a ladder and some tools from the basement. Okay, now he's gone too. Now we can go in there. But is this the front Box door? Is closed. Oh. Entrance? Can we just go in anyway? It's locked. Okay. But why would Cortez be in there if it's closed? Well, it's a little creepy. When's the last time somebody picked up the garbage? It smells like moldy caramel popcorn and bingo cherry cola. Disgusting! It's a fire alarm. It's a fire alarm and a smoke detector. It's the theater's fire exit. Fire exit. Uh, we have uh, matches. It's a closed garbage bin. What about, uh... This would probably work a lot better if I opened the can first. <laughs> Open the trash can? It's filled with a bunch of dry rags, newspapers, and a half-empty oil can. Can anybody say extreme fire hazard? Garbage bag. Ooh, look at that. I did not even notice that. The shadow looks like a, a gunman. Pretty convincing, if I have to say so myself. Constable Guybrush is a strange hybrid between man, ape, and musician. In addition to being an officer of the law, of course. The eye came loose. Poor Constable Guybrush. Sorry, Can we take Guybrush, the eye? But I need to borrow your eye for a while. So now you don't have eyes. It's Constable Guybrush. It's Constable Guybrush. It is Constable Guybrush. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Hands up! What? Your legs and do the monkey. 
mildly amusing, but irritating as hell. I think I'll shut him up now. Great. That does uh, work for a trap. Can we put him down here? from show yourself spread your legs and do all right the there mister monkey. just just don't don't you Dance. fire that gun now you hear i i'm i'm sorry i chased you earlier freddy you'll do the monkey for you right now if, if that's what you want uh-huh He'll do the monkey until you ask him to stop, I reckon. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, you. Hands up. Spread your legs. And do the... That's, uh, that's pretty good. So even though the theater's closed... Something's playing. No Big surprise. There. I'm still here. And there is Cortez. All the time I spent trying to get into the theater, he could have just quietly walked out to meet me. I feel like kicking the guy. Now he wanted us to get over here. I don't see anything we could pick up. You have no idea what I went through to find you. First... Do you like movies? Sure. Who doesn't? Wait a second. I was trying to tell you that... I don't much like modern movies myself. They are either too loud and expensive or too obscure and self-indulgent. But old movies, really old movies, have a charm and a simplicity that appeals to me. Listen, please don't interrupt me again. It's starting to piss me off. But I have never interrupted you, unless I've had something important to say, of course. But go ahead. What is it you wanted to talk about? Why did you make me search all over the city for you? Search for me? I've been here for hours, senorita. I haven't moved. The question ought to be, what made you go out of your way to find me? Either we, yeah, well, we kind of agreed to this morning. We agreed to meet this morning, remember? As I remember it, there was no agreement. I said tomorrow, but you refused. I assumed you weren't interested. I apologize for making myself unavailable, however. Don't give me that. You wanted me to come looking for you again. Actually, no, I, I had to lay low for a few hours. Does it have anything to do with the cop that was staking this place out? Yeah. So it was a good thing I didn't stick my head out the door to look for you then, no? He's gone now. Are you in some kind of trouble with the police? Wait, don't tell me. Immigration. No, senorita. Not the police. There are bigger players than the police. I don't want to know. I'm not getting mixed up with the mob or gangs or anything like that. 
There's not much you want to be mixed up in at all, is there? My life's complicated enough as it is, Mr. Cortez. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Answers. You want, you need answers. Yes, do you have any, please? That, but you never give me any answers. Just more questions. Like, who's out to get you? What's going on with me? How come you know so much about me? I plan to answer all your questions today, April. By the time you go to sleep tonight, your world will have changed. And nothing will ever be the same. You're just being cryptic again. It's like soap opera sex. Lots of boring dialogue, and when they finally go to bed, everything's dark and covered by blankets. You want the full Monty, then? Come with me. Come outside. No more talk. I will show you the truth. Show you the truth. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. This is probably as good a place as any. Ooh. At least there's no one around to see, except rats. To see what? Stand back, senorita. What for? What are you doing? Why, Alice, I'm sending you through the looking glass. What? What is that? Please tell me it's a hologram. It's a mirror to reflect your dreams. I don't see anything, just light. Oh, you have to step through. Step through that? Oh no, I don't think so. This is the moment of decision, April. All time, past and present, revolves around this moment. The destiny of worlds is in your hands. But you must make the choice on your own. La vida es corta. You must decide how to live it best. La vida es corta. Life short. All right. I'll do it. Vamos. Enter the light. Don't say that. It sounds too ominous. Just tell me what's going to happen. You're about to take the first step on the longest journey of your life. But don't worry. I'll be waiting right here. He set the line. You must be insane to do this. Yes. It's pretty much a given. He set the line. He called... He named the game. It's Cortez. It is Cortez. Okay. Well, we're gonna run right through. Oh, I almost forgot. When you're ready to come back... Pay a visit to a friend of mine called Westhouse, Brian Westhouse. child and may the balance protect you Cortez Cortez I have a bad feeling about this wait what was the name Cortez told me to remember? Westhouse? Brian Westhouse? I think that was it. Cortez said to look him up when I wanted to go home. Well, I want to go home now.